Okay. Figured it out pretty quickly right after I ended the video. It's not that hard. Um, I just didn't read the question, and, and it's actually a pretty dumb question, but whatever. Okay, so we were doing it right. We have our equation P of T um, equals 200 V and then T over 5. Um, and then we're simply plugging in one of the numbers. So if we go to the graph um, or the chart here, we just plug in one of these numbers. So uh, the reason you can't do um, 5, or you, I mean, you can do 5, you can do any of these. Um, so um, I don't even remember what it is. I'm still, whatever. So you plug in this, you pick any of them, except you don't want 200 because B is going to go away, right? If you put in the first one, you're going to get 200 equals 200 times b to the 0. The b to the 0 is simply 1. Um, so that doesn't help you. So you need to plug in one of the other points. So just go to the next one. So 152 um, equals um, uh, 200. And then it's b to the um, 5 over 5. So 5 over 5 is 1, so we have 152 equals 200B. Divide by 200. 200. Okay, and um, the issue here is um, 152 divided by 200. Um, and I kept getting 3 out of 4, that's fine. If you look at 3 out of 4 as a decimal, going to be 0.675, or if we use this, it's going to be 0 0.076 equals B, and we just wanted to round it to 0.8, because it said to round to the nearest tenth, and that is why we got 4 over 5, because they rounded the 0.75 up to 0.8, which is 4 fifths. So we were doing it right. Um, what do we got that one wrong? So anyways, um, what are there, 38? 40, 58 questions. I would have had 54 to 58, so maybe um, not as much of a math expert as one would anticipate.